Strawberries are one of the most popular fruit crops worldwide, and are widely known for their bright red color, juicy texture, and sweet flavor. The first garden strawberry was grown in Brittany, France during the late 18th century. The life cycle of strawberry can be divided into the following growth stages, planting, germination and sprout, vegetative growth, flowering and pollination, fruit development, maturity and harvesting, reproduction, and senescence. Strawberries are typically planted in the spring or fall, when the weather is cool but not too cold. The exact timing depends on the location and climate. The soil should be well prepared before planting strawberry seeds or transplanting strawberry runners. Runners are long stems that develop from the parent plant and grow into new plants. Strawberry seeds or runners can also be planted in greenhouses to extend their growing season. After planting, the strawberry seeds absorb water and nutrients from the soil, and the embryo inside the seed begins to germinate. As the seed grows, the small and oval-shaped cotyledons emerge from the soil, which are the embryonic leaves that provide the initial source of energy for the growing plant. The plant's roots grow downwards into the soil, while the shoot grows upwards towards the surface. The first leaf also begins to grow. The first leaf provides the plant with its first source of energy through photosynthesis, allowing the sprout to grow and develop further into a stem with more leaves. The vegetative growth stage is that the strawberry plant grows larger and develops more leaves and stems. These leaves have a more complex structure than the cotyledons, and they provide the plant with greater capacity to photosynthesize. During this stage, the plant is not yet mature enough to produce flowers or fruit, and its main focus is on growing and developing the stem, leaves, and roots. The vegetative growth stage is a crucial period for developing a strong strawberry plant structure and maximizing yield during fruit production. Providing the plant with adequate nutrients, water, sunlight, and proper pruning can help promote optimal vegetative growth. The vegetative growth stage typically lasts for several weeks, which depends on the climate and growing conditions. Once the strawberry plant has reached a certain size, it enters the flowering stage and starts to produce flowers. This stage is a critical period to determine the potential for fruit production. The flowers are usually white or pink, have five petals, and are located on the ends of the stems. The flower center contains both male and female reproductive organs. Pollination occurs when pollen from the male reproductive organ called stamen is transferred to the female reproductive organ called pistil either by wind or by insects such as bees, butterflies, or other insects. Once pollination occurs, the fertilized flowers start to develop into fruit. The flowering period can last several weeks. However, frost can damage or kill the flowers and reduce yield. The fruit development stage is that the flowers on the strawberry plant start to develop into fruits after pollination. The fertilized ovules in the flower start to swell and grow, forming a small green fruit. As the fruit develops, it undergoes several changes in size, shape, color, and texture. The fruit's size increases, and its color changes from green to white, then to pink, and finally to a deep red color. The texture also changes from hard to soft as the fruit matures, and the sweetness and flavor also develop. The fruit development stage can last for several weeks, depending on the variety of strawberry and the growing conditions. The fruit development stage is a critical period in the life cycle of the plant, as it determines the quality and yield of the crop. During maturity stage, the fruit reaches its maximum size, sweetness, and flavor. The color of the fruit is a bright red, indicating that it is ripe and ready for harvest. It is essential to harvest the fruit during this stage to ensure optimal quality and yield. The timing of fruit maturity also depends on the variety of strawberry and the growing conditions. 
Once the fruit is mature, it can be harvested by gently pulling it off the plant. In general, strawberry is harvested in late spring or early summer, while in warmer regions it can be as early as winter. After the first harvest, the strawberries can continue to be harvested for several weeks to months, depending on the variety and growing conditions. Strawberry runners, also known as stolons, are a natural way for the reproduction of the plant. The runners are horizontal stems that grow out from the base of the parent plant and produce new plants. Strawberry runners typically grow after the strawberry plant has produced its first fruit. The runners may lead to overcrowding and reduced fruit production. Thus, removing or transplanting strawberry runners can be beneficial for the plant's health and productivity. It is worth noting that not all varieties of strawberries produce runners. The last growth stage of strawberry life cycle is senescence, where the plant's growth and development slow down. During this stage, the plant focuses on conserving energy. Eventually, the plant stops producing new growth, and enters dormant stage. The plant roots can be collected and stored in a cold place for transplanting in the next growing season. The life cycle then repeats itself. Except traditional matted row system and hill system in open field for growing strawberries, benchtop and hydroponic system in greenhouses can also be used as good options and innovative technologies for year-round production or where traditional planting methods are not feasible. The benefits of benchtop and hydroponic systems for growing strawberries include faster growth, higher yields, reduced water and nutrient use, and improved disease control. However, hydroponic systems also require a higher initial investment, regular maintenance, and monitoring to ensure optimal performance. In summary, strawberry goes through several distinct growth stages during its life cycle. The duration of each stage can vary depending on the variety of strawberry, environmental conditions, growing conditions, and region. In general, the life of a strawberry plant lasts about two to three months from planting to harvesting. Understanding the different stages of the strawberry life cycle is essential for achieving optimal yield and quality, as well as for proper crop management. About 10 million tons of strawberry is produced worldwide annually. The United States is the largest strawberry producer in the world. Spain is the second largest producer. Turkey, Mexico, and Egypt are also major strawberry producers. Strawberry is also an important fruit crop in many other countries. Strawberry is used to make a variety of delicious healthy dishes and foods. Here are some popular strawberry-based dishes. Strawberry shortcake is a classic dessert, strawberry smoothie is a refreshing and healthy drink, Strawberry jam is a sweet spread, strawberry ice cream is a creamy and sweet frozen dessert, strawberry salad is a popular refreshing salad, strawberry cheesecake is a decadent dessert, strawberry tart is a pastry-based dessert, strawberry salsa is a fresh and flavorful dip. Raw strawberry contains about 90% water. Strawberry is a good source of dietary fiber, vitamin C, folate, potassium, and manganese. Strawberry is also rich in antioxidants and low in calories and fat. In summary, strawberry is a nutrient-dense fruit that can provide a range of health benefits as part of a balanced diet.